Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got one for the beginners. I'm going to show you how to enhance your Microsoft Access forms with transparent buttons. Ooh, ah. Today's question comes from Benjamin in Muskego, Wisconsin, one of my Platinum members. Benjamin says, I've designed a nice pretty main menu as an image using Photoshop. I want to use this for my database's main menu and I've drawn the buttons into the image. However, I don't know how to make them clickable. Is there a way you can show me how to achieve this without programming? I love access, but I don't want to be a programmer and I don't want to invest the time in learning VBA. Yep, that's not a problem, Benjamin. You can, I say this all the time, you can make fantastic databases without learning a single line of VBA code. There's button wizards that'll do a lot for you and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. And then we can use one of those buttons to open a form or open a report or run a query. And then we can make it transparent and put it over your image. And then you can still click on it and the user will just think that they're clicking on a button in the image. Let me show you how to do it. Now, Benjamin sent me some of his images and he does some really nice work. He's a graphic designer, in fact. Um, but he said they're proprietary and he really doesn't want them in the video. Okay, fine. Now, I'm not an artist, so I went to ChatGPT and ChatGPT can now create images. You tell it what you want, right? Make me a nice, pretty, artistic main menu, blah, blah, blah. So I just threw something together. It, it gave me some cool stuff. I mean, check this out. That's, that's neat looking, right? Or this one. Okay. And you can do this kind of stuff in Photoshop too. I'm going to choose this guy, this futuristic Star Trek looking thing. Okay, so just save this to your drive or screen capture it, whatever you want to do, I'll screen capture it. All right, so now it's on my clipboard. And let's go over to Access. Before we get started, though, one prerequisite for today, if you have not yet watched my Access Beginner Level 1 class, go watch it. I know it's about four hours long, but it covers all the basics, including how to use some buttons. So go watch this first. We're not going to do any programming today or anything crazy. And also go watch my blank template video. I cover how to build this main menu and a couple of basic forms in here. All right, so go watch both of those. They're both free. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch them and come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download it off my website if you want to. I'm going to go into Design View on my main menu. And we're going to get rid of pretty much all of this stuff up here. So come over here in the ruler, click, drag, and drop right to about there. We're going to leave the status box. And my logo, of course, on the bottom. We're not going to get rid of this. Never get rid of this, right? Okay, good. Just so, so you know, stays there. <laughs> okay, now I already copied that image to my clipboard using my screen grab utility, so I'm just going to hit paste, and there it is. It comes right in. I'm going to minimize the ribbon a little bit so I can see this thing because it's a little bit big. You can resize and rescale this stuff too if you want to. Okay. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to undo that. I'm going to scale it in my software so it fits in the window here. Like I said, I use Hypersnap. It's an older application, but it's been around forever. I'm going to scale it down to about 80% of its size. So let's go in here and put 80 and then apply. And that looks good. That's a good size. All right, now we'll copy it, Control C. And then we'll come back in here and paste it. All right, that's much better. Looks good. All right, now I want to send this image so it's behind everything else because I got some other stuff on here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to position and then send to back. That'll put you behind everything else. All right, access learning zone can come. Okay, uh, now see, here's, here's one thing that happens sometimes. Notice how I have selected this image. And even though it's behind stuff, if I try to click on this stuff, it's not leaving the selection of that image. So you got to click over here off of it. I know it's a quirk in access. Note to the development team, fix that, right? And now I can click on these guys and move them where I want them. Put you down here we'll put you over here and to match the motif let's go with the black background and maybe white text that's our status box i cover that in some other lessons okay now this and let's say this are going to be buttons and you can make buttons over whatever you want but let's say these are our buttons okay so now i'm going to use the form wizard and create a button that i'm going to use to open let's say the customer form all right so form design Go to your command button. Make sure your wizards are on, by the way. Right here, use control wizards. Make sure that's on. If you go to create a button and nothing happens, your wizards are off. Usually on my development machine, I leave the wizards off because I don't use them. But for my teaching machine, this one, I do leave them on for you guys. All right, so pick the command button or just button. Drop it anywhere you want, like there. 
The Wizard starts up. There's tons and tons of stuff in here. I cover these in my full courses. But for today, we're going to go to Form Operations, open a form, next. What form do you want to open? Let's open the Customer Form, next. Open the form and find specific data to display or show all the records. We'll just show all the records for now. I'm just going to put a text message on here, but we're not going to see it anyways. But in design mode, you'll see this, right? Open customers. Hit next. All right. Give it a name. Open customer BTN for button. And then finish. All right. There's my open customers button. Now I'm going to drag it so that it covers that entire thing right there. So if the user clicks anywhere in here, it's going to click that button. All right, now if I save the form and close it and open it back up again, I got a button right here to open my main menu or it's right there, main menu F. All right, there's the button. I can click on it. There's my customer form. Okay, but I don't want to see this button here. I want to use the image behind it. So we're going to make that button transparent. All right, right click on it. Go down to properties. That brings up the property sheet. Find transparent right there. We're going to set transparent to yes, and it appears to disappear. Look at that. It appears to disappear. <laughs> All right. Save it. Let's close it. Open it back up again. And now I can click on add customer. Boop, and there it is. And it's pushing that button. All right. Want to do something else? Come in here. Design view. Go back to here. Make a button. Drop it over here. What do you want to do this time? I don't know. Let's... Uh, open a different form open let's open up the uh, customer list F next finish and then just take this and go like that and open up its properties and go transparent and now you got two buttons on there close it save it open it click over here boom there's your customer list do that and that's how you use transparent buttons they're pretty cool if you want to learn more about this cool form stuff, including more with transparent buttons and making a custom main menu, continuous forms, all this kind of stuff, it's in my Access Beginner Level 7 class. You'll find that on my website. I'll put a link to it down below. All kinds of cool stuff in here. All right, neat form design, main menu tricks, all kinds of stuff. And that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? 
The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.